It was not an easy decision. Power had been obtained from the bargains, and the city needed power. Knowledge had been gleaned, and the Ahamkara knew answers to questions no one had known to ask. But the price was too high, and no edict or forbearance seemed to stop guardians from seeking them out, driven by hope or vengeance or despair. The call had to be silenced, so the great hunt did its work, and thus the Ahamkara were made extinct, their call silenced, their solipsistic flatteries erased, their great design, if it ever existed, broken. Of this you can be assured, O reader mine. Welcome back Guardians. Today I wanted to speak about an item that was added with the Age of Triumph, Knuckles of Ao. I believe this is a reference to the dragon-like species in Destiny, the Ahamkara. I will discuss the implications of the bargain we just made with Ao by using the Knuckles of Ao. Thank you for all of the support lately and welcome to all the new subscribers who have recently joined. This is Marlin Games and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny Lore episode. Let's speak about who Ao is. Previously, it has been speculated that Ao is an Ahamkara. The bones of Ao, which are hunter exotic boots that grant an additional jump, reads Defy Extinction. Many believe this is a reference to the Great Ahamkara Hunt, an event where the Ahamkara were meant to be made extinct. The Ghost Fragment Legends 3 card reads The Great Ahamkara Hunt. After great deliberation, it was determined that the Ahamkara be made extinct. The call had to be silenced, so the Great Hunt did its work. The Scales of Ao has a similar implication. It reads, We stand upon our own unending deaths. Implying that maybe the Ahamkara Hunt was not as effective as first thought. In addition to these cards, the Bones of Ao has a similar look to the young Ahamkara's spine and the skull of Dire Ahamkara, once again leading many to believe that Eo is an Ahamkara. So why did the consensus, and I only assume it was the consensus who made this decision, decide to call for the great Ahamkara hunt and hunt all of these creatures to extinction? Well, it appears that the Ahamkara could grant wishes, bargains with guardians in exchange for power. They believed it was too dangerous to leave the Ahamkara because guardians would seek them out and strike a bargain, increasing their power. We do not really know the terms of this bargain, but just that guardians could increase their power using the Ahamkara. The dangers of the Ahamkara is further reinforced in Ghost Fragment Warlock. Within this card, it depicts a warlock speaking with a hunter about hunting the Ahamkara. The warlock is in possession of a fragment of the Ahamkara vertebrae, which they borrowed from the Cryptarch. The card reads, I had a broken vertebrae in my pocket that I borrowed from, yes, borrowed. I was going to put it back. What do you think you are, my conscience? It was a fossil. That means mineral replacement, a rock, basically. They can survive a few hours in my pocket. Do shut up. The Cryptarchs weren't going to miss it. Everyone knows Ahamkaras were hunted to extinction. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Think of how mysterious this system is, I said. How much life sprang up when the Traveller came, like the Ahamkara. Do you know the legends? The dragon that made promises? I pulled out the fossil with a flourish. Even though this warlock is just holding the Ahamkara bone, the cut indicates that she starts to act completely differently, extremely egotistical. She ends up showing the bone to the hunter and challenging the hunter to hunt the Ahamkara. However, when the hunter agrees, the warlock wonders why she said that. And if she has just sent this hunter to her death, the card reads, You could have never brought down one of these, I said, ever. Not the greatest hunter, not the brawniest titan. Her eyes narrowed. She said, Oh, is that so? And I saw right then that she wasn't going to pass on the challenge. I've murdered a guardian, I thought. She's going to die. It'll be my fault. And I looked at the piece of spine in my hand and wondered, why did I say that? What moved me to such pride? So even remnants of Ahamkara are dangerous. They can influence you. So here is where it gets really cool with the introduction of Knuckles of Ao. The Knuckles of Ao reads, 
effect that increases the rewards from the next raid encounter you complete in a weekly featured raid. Boons I grant you, O bearer mine, but debts must be paid in time. When you use the Knuckles of Ayo within a raid and complete a boss, the activity feed reads, your game attack has had their wish granted. I strongly believe by using the Knuckles of Ayo, you just made a bargain, a deal with Ahamkara, a deal for more power. You also likely notice within this item description, Knuckles of Ayo says, O oh, bearer of mine, which only further reinforces that Ayo is an Ahamkara. You just made a bargain with it. This is because the clause of Ahamkara also reads, Look at all this life, O oh, bearer of mine. There is so much left to burn. And the young Ahamkara spine reads, Give me your arm, O oh, bearer of mine. Let me help you find the world with teeth. The way that Knuckles of Ao reference O oh, bearer of mine is a direct reference to the Ahamkara. However, Please be aware that the worms in the books of Saray speak extremely similarly to the Ahamkara. For example, in verse 1.5, it reads, Listen closely, O vengeance mine. I actually have an entirely different video analyzing this wording, this O bearer mine, this O vengeance mine, and comparing the worm gods to the Ahamkara. So feel free to watch that video if you want greater explanation. I also reference in that video the wish dragons which are mentioned in the books of sorrow. For those of you who have used the knuckles of Ao, without thought, did you even consider that you just made a bargain with a power that you do not understand? You have no idea what the Amkara want, where they are, and when this debt must be paid. I wish you luck when Ao, the Amkara, comes to collect the debt. That concludes this latest Destiny Law episode. If you'd like to support the channel but cannot think of a comment, you can leave the word debt to symbolize all those silly guardians that made bargains with dragons. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.